Hey guys, that's right. Right now I am at Fire District 1. This is the fire station in Iberville Parish right off of Highway 30. Moments ago, my photographer and I went to go check out the St. Gabriel Community Center. That's one of several shelters that will be here in the parish. And here to talk more about that is Cal Grace. He's the General Services Director for the parish. Good afternoon. How Good are afternoon. you? Good afternoon. Doing well. How about you? Good. So you're talking about the sheltering for people here in case they need to evacuate their homes. Where are those shelters located and what do people need to know? Okay. So so in conjunction with the uh, city of St. Gabriel, Everville Parish has stood up a shelter of last resort at the Garden Simon LeBlanc location of the uh, St. Gabriel Community Center. It is a shelter of last resort. Um, so those individuals that have housing that may not be adequate to withstand the, the winds and the storm and the, uh, the heavy rainfall, they are being asked to go to the shelter of last resort. We will have cots and uh, blankets, but everything else that's needed for their comfort, including their medication, identification, we're asking that they bring that with them so that they can enter the shelter and uh, have their information with them and their materials with them to ride it out for at least uh, eight to ten hours. Now, this is a place for families, meaning uh, women, children, kids, anyone. Can people bring their pets? Um, who, who, who are allowed to, who's allowed to be uh, at these shelters? Sure. So, yes, it is for families. Unfortunately, we do not have accommodations for pets. So please leave your pets at home or in another safe area. But right at this moment, the uh, La shelter of last resort is only for humans. And so we also have White Castle is another location. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other location is Rosedale for people who needing to take shelter. Correct. So we have stood up a uh, shelter of last resort in the Marangren Rosedale community, North, Bad North Iberville, excuse me. And then also in White Castle, we've uh, contracted with the mayor's office there. And uh, we've also stood up one in White Castle for that area of, of Iberville Parish. Thank you so much. And again, we did go over there just moments ago to check out the facilities there. They have dozens of beds already laid out with uh, information and blankets from Red Cross. Now, earlier today, we were at the press conference with Governor Jeff Landry. He talked about the importance of local places and parishes having their shelters ready to go. He also gave a number of safety tips, the importance of staying inside and off the road. And part of that is staying ready so you don't have to get ready. Here's what he said earlier. Yeah, again, a couple of things. I, uh, again, want to thank uh, Tony uh, and FEMA, uh, the FEMA Administrator, uh, Cresswell, uh, and the White House for responding to Louisiana's needs and giving us that pre-landfall uh, declaration. Uh, we look forward to working with them uh, as we move into the post-storm recovery uh, on tomorrow. I, um, again, um, we're going to be putting out also for the press, we're going to be putting out some information uh, because I know that you have had some questions on shelters. I would remind y'all that initial sheltering is always a local uh, responsibility and that they put it out. Uh, if statewide shelters are going to be um, uh, operational, we will get y'all that information as well. Uh, again, I would urge residents to take the necessary steps of preparing for the storm to come. It is on our doorstep as we speak. Remember, after the storm is over, please remain in place. As you heard from all of these agencies, it, it, we are going to have a lot of people on the roadway that is necessary to put the vital infrastructure back in place so that you can go about your daily lives. We have checked with our utility uh, partners. Uh, we feel like they pre the assets necessary uh, to help them. Uh, Jay is going to give us some great information, hopefully tomorrow, that the winds will die down real, real fast so that the utility crews can get up and on those lines, because remember, they have a wind restriction as to, as you know, if the wind exceeds 30 miles an hour, they can't repair the line. So we're hoping that this storm passes fast enough through the state and we can get every, all those utility trucks and DOTD and our first responders on the roadway. But again, we urge our citizens to stay off the roadway if you are not inside of that critical needs, vital labor force. And 
another thing that Governor Jeff Landry was saying, we are slowly shifting from that prepare phase to the response phase. But although the rain is coming down, it's pretty light. And just moments ago, we saw a truck dump hundreds of bags of sandbags available at one of 15 locations. The one of these locations is Fire District 1. There are 15 across the parish, which we have those listed for you on our website at brproud.com. As we move throughout the day, we will be sure to bring you more updates here in Iberville Parish. Reporting live, Sydney Simone, NBC Local 33 News. And Sydney, I know that we've been preaching it for the last two hours. The governor just mentioned it, telling people to stay off the roads as far as the shelter and the sandbags. What's the cutoff to make your way to that shelter before you're possibly turned away or picking up those sandbags? Actually, I'm going to ask Kyle Grace here. What's the cutoff time for people to make their way to the shelters? Well, we just asked that they get there before dark. Um, it's going to actually run now. It's been, it's been up since 10 a.m. and it'll run to 10 a.m. tomorrow. But we just ask that you prepare early and try and get there in the daylight hours so that we can accommodate you, get you checked in, and get you situated for the night. So in other words, don't wait until the last minute. Don't underestimate, although, again, it is pretty light rain. Make your way sooner than later. Reporting live here in Iberville, Paris, Sydney Simone.